Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. So for this reading, we're going to be using four different deck of cards. So we have Moonology, then we have the Moon deck of cards, which is to do like moon signs, like the um, moon totems and also like zodiac signs. We then have another one which is regarding um, like seasons, celestial bodies and things like that. Then we have Harmony Angel Cards, which imp interprets different things, and obviously the Moonology deck. So let's see what is in store for you then. Okay, so let's see what first. So, the waxing moon. Now is a good time to focus on achieving your own personal goals. The hay totem, which is a auspicious time for a new beginning. The wolf totem, beware of letting your wilder instincts spin out of control. The cow totem, a new beginning or even a new life may be blooming. Moon in Sagittarius, be prepared to be adaptable as plans you have laid may take an unexpected course. Moon in Pisces, beware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies. The frog totem. The path has been cleared for you to make a change that previously seemed unachievable. Moon in Aquarius, the time is ripe for celebrating life. Make the most of parties, gatherings and other social opportunities. Okay, so you have the sun. So this is about energizing, being active, a dynamic force. There is to be um, to be feeling more brighter, happier, and healthier. There is to be um, a shift in different rhythms here as well. There's to be personal healing, good fortune in all areas of your life. There's to be health, success, and prosperity. There is to be a new impulse that's going to be assistant in your life as well. And there is to be considering tailoring your activities here as well. The North. So this is about rest and renewal. This is to be having um, energies for a new life to begin. There is to be um, the power of night that's coming in here. So um, when your body lays sleeping. These spirits and everything is going to be active. There's to be a lot of dreaming and learning here. There's purity and focusness and clarity of the elders and wisdom and knowing. You are going to be having a lot of clarity regarding your intentions. There is to be a place of refuge and being able to retreat to find some rest here. 
Mars. So there is to be a lot of physical energies, actions, desires, ambitions, competitions, self-assertions and egos. There may be disruptive changes and radical upheavals that may be involved that can be sudden and unexpected and your life may not seem the same again. There's to be an end of conflicts to motivate yourself, to improve your strength, your power and authority for self-assertion and for anything that needs to be kick-started or requires any physical work. Fire, so there is to be fast, forceful and positivity. There is to be feeling things maybe a bit frightening. Um, there is to be a lot of faith and banishing any negativity, but using your own inner child here as well. There is to be very dominant and passionate and things may be a bit intense. There is to be courage and strength to fight for quality of life. There is a physical challenge, sensational and sexual energy here. Things may be a little bit out of balance, where they may become a bit destructive, um, where they need to be some boundaries put in place. Power of trees. So this is to do with worship and divination. This is to do with the outdoors, being around greenery. There is to be um, some fertility here as well. Fertility rites. There's to be um, feeling locked down in earth, being grounded um, and there is to be appreciating life and celebrating being connected to um, the earth. we have this one which is like um, a labyrinth I think they call it maze maybe The last page as well. <laughs> okay, so this is wholeness and spiritual fulfillment. So this is about journeying into the centre of your well-being. There is to be an initiation leading to spiritual fulfillment. There is to be um, having one choice and one choice only here as well. Um, there is a path of the light that's leading to your consciousness. You're invited to take a specific path that integrates with your true self to find wholeness within yourself. Um, there is to be a journey to your heart as well. There is experiencing feelings of geometric um, unity of the consciousness. There is to be um, mysteries here as well and reflecting on um, your own path. Okay, have this card and then the next one. Yeah. 
so this is the original sacred symbol to do with the physical body so you may have concerns about your health um, to do with physical or emotional aspects to you so these need to be addressed before you can move on there may be issues regarding some security um, there's to be creativity and, and sexuality there may be involvement to do with digesting and eating orders and general health and emotional well-being so it feels like you're going through the motions so to speak Okay, so you have full moon in Leo, don't let pride get in your way. So be magnificent without being plain too much. Self-esteem is good, vanity is not. Everyone is equally important. Creative urges should be followed. Work some magic. A friendship may be ending right now. You then have mutable moon, nothing yet is set in stone. I know the best will unfold for me. So you're meandering towards your goal and that is okay. Staying adaptable is the key to success for you now. Make sure you're not being led astray. Have you become distracted? The time is to focus. Stay with it, wherever it means to you. Full moon in Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture. Okay, so this is saying, take time out for a mini break or adventure. The situation may have come around because you've been distracted. Be confident without being overconfident to win the day. Have you shown that you care? If not, now is the time. Find balance between speaking your mind and saying too much. Okay then Aquarius, so that is your reading. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.